Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, good afternoon, whatever part of the world you're around. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I just woke up out my sleep. The Lord himself woke me up, said, smack, son, time to get your butt to work. There's been a big update for Honkai Star. I, I seriously don't know why I woke up. I just woke up for no reason. It, it must have been God. But there's been a massive uh, news announcement, boys, and we're going to cover it. So um, let's go ahead and see what we got going on here. It's developer radio, voice of the galaxy, Honkai Star Rail from the Hoyo Lab itself. So it is official. Uh, OK, we got hello, Trailblazers. Welcome to the Voice of the Galaxy. The edition is about developer radio. We're introducing two major updates coming to future versions. Come and have a look. Take a gander uh, in version 2.3 simulated universe major update. Now, y'all know I have been complaining about that simulated universe needing to be expedited uh, ASAP Rocky, bro. OK, so uh, let's see what, it, what they got to say here. The simulated universe will undergo a huge update in the form of the divergent universe. The new divergent universe will make a grand overhaul to the gameplay. Wow. OK, hold up. What's this mean? We getting we getting renovations over here to the simulated universe. There will be more varied combinations between blessings and curios will also gain more unique effects. Oh, now that's massive. Cool. That means more ingenuity is going to be implemented into the paths. I think this is huge because, you know, as humans, we do eventually we get over it. Right. We need a little bit more uh, creativity. We need more new toys to play with. Things can get a little stale no matter how creative they are. Repetition will de will defeat that uh, dopamine rush you're getting from doing it over and over again. That's why, you know, as gamers, we got to find something else to do. Anyways, I'm looking forward to this. I will say, what are they going to do? I would love it personally if they started implementing in uh, a unique blessing that can make a particular character broken. Case in point, Jing Yuen stand can only go one time within a cycle. What if you got a blessing from the erudition path that says Jing Yuen stand can now go multiple times in a cycle? That would be pretty damn lit, right? Uh, so, but I look forward to, to seeing what kind of ingenuity they have with this. This is going to be cool. I think it does need more variety. The blessings and the curios. It's a fun little idea that you can expand upon. Anyways, enough yapping. We hope Trailblazers will experience more strategic flexibility when they engage in this new game mode. Let me drink my coffee, guys. Hold on. Regardless of whether you are a frequent player of the current simulated universe, all Trailblazers can participate in this update's Divergent Universe with ease. Okay. The Divergent Universe will also become a major research focus in the future for the simulated universe. Interesting. So they're using it as, it's not a necessarily a guinea pig, but they're going to take our feedback and the successes and failures of it and probably try to add that into the current simulated universe. Massive. What is interesting is this mode already seems much better than the simulated universe. But like it's like putting an ax through the simulated universe. I don't know. The only like incentive is to like do the weeklies, the bonus, which you can still do in golden gears and stuff. But obviously, like if you want to expedite it, you you'd still go through simulated universe. Though the divergent universe is still undergoing final adjustments. There are some details we can share right now. Rapid planar ornament procurement function available. Rapid. Does that mean get it fast? Did they just, are they answering my prayers here? In Divergent Universe, the all new planar ornament quick claim function will be made available. What? After clearing Divergent Universe, Trailblazers can enter the curios and blessings they obtained in this run into a save file. The save file will be reset each week. Wait, wait, wait. So we get to save our blessings and curios. So if you're like fully amplified and you clear a run, you get to keep that amplification, I guess. Trailblazers can directly challenge different boss enemies using their save file and obtain the corresponding planar ornaments. Oh, so if I were to compare this to simulated universe, you know how when you you get done with a phase, you fight the boss of that phase, then you move on to it. There's three bosses, right? There's the first boss, the second boss, then there's the final boss. Based off what I'm reading here, it seems that this save file is going to enable you to challenge the bosses directly without worrying about getting to the boss. And then you collect the planar ornaments from beating that boss. If that's the case, that is an answer to my prayers. That means they just expedited the process for you to farm planar ornaments uh, versus what they have going on right now. where You have to get through the simulated universe, do it twice. Oh, that, yeah, that's saving a lot of time. That's massive. What? The, OK. All right. All right, they cooking. 
This is good news. This is massive. I've been asking for this forever. New Divergent Universe rewards. Divergent Universe also has its own unique rewards. Completing Divergent Universe allows Trailblazers to collect various leveling materials and stellar jades. Now, how are they going to do this? Because sometimes they'd be pump faking, right? Like Pure Fiction and uh, MOC. You know, they ended up doing like the whole like split type of ordeal. Are they really going to like give additional rewards or they're just like doing this little schedule shit where they pump fake you, making you think you're getting new rewards? I don't know. We'll see what happens there. Um, I'll keep a, a appropriate balance of pessimism and optimism. <laughs> Clearing Divergent Universe will also net you weekly points for the current simulated universe and let you claim rewards. Bro, I feel like they just put an axe through the simulated universe. I really do. So you're telling me you can now collect your 14,000 points that you do weekly through the Divergent Universe as well. So what? The, why the hell would I do the Simulated Universe then? Restart a challenge with a single button to avoid suffering from unexpected mishaps during your gameplay. Oh, that means if you have a skill issue, you get to restart over. <laughs> There's a new restart challenge option added to the Divergent Universe. When Trailblazers select restart challenge in the Divergent Universe, they will... I hate saying this. I, we're going to say DU going forward, but I'm tired of saying that shit. They will restart the current battle. Previously triggered techniques will also take effect once more. Okay, bro, bro, y'all need to add this shit here into the dailies, bro. Like when I'm doing my caverns, when I'm doing um whatever, you like, you know, the caverns, the freaking grinding for experience books, bro. Please and bosses, if I'm fighting the fucking ball echoes of war bosses, let my techniques reset. Like if you're gonna add it in this mode, oh my god, please, please, hoyo. Add it to the other modes as well. That would be huge. This is massive, though. I love this. Don't just be giving all the treatment to the new modes. You know, let's get a little, let's get some of this QOL on them old modes now. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm tired of hitting them technique points and running out of them and having to run to the goddamn store to, to, to buy some more of them damn little bags. All right? It'd be nice if you can put this in the older modes. Okay? Let's move on. New permanent game mode apocalyptic shadow did i read that correctly are my eyes playing tricks on me new permanent game uh hold on let's let's read let's translate that new in game oh they cooking three words come to mind but i'll let y'all think of them the new permanent game mode apocalyptic shadow will build trailblazers welcome on version 2.3, optimizations will also be arriving for Pure Fiction and Forgotten Hall. Wow. So optimizations, QOL, or just improvements, period. Optimizations can be an implication of either or. So the current uh, pre-existing game modes and a new game mode. Face powerful foes, earn points, and win rewards. Yes. That's what I like to hear. That's all you need in that game. It's pretty simple when you think about it. Give me some rewards. Let me fight some motherfuckers that are strong, all right? Some raid bosses. Let me get some points, all right? Let me get a little clout. In Apocalyptic Shadow, Trailblazers must face materializations of the finality. Ooh, the, the real final boss. And defeat bosses they have faced before. Okay. What's the uh, what's the ingenuity looking like? What's the, what's the innovative qualities looking like over here? These formidable foe materializations will have slight differences between them and regular enemy bosses. Don't, don't be hitting me with no HP increase, all right? Like, what they gonna be doing? Like, get, get creative. I know y'all can cook. Trailblazers can check out the details by reading about the enemy traits when the battle begins. Okay, so they're saving it. They're keeping it vague. I'm interested to see how they're gonna make these current bosses and elites more um, unique than they already are. Because they're gonna have to do that, obviously. Uh, we hope that Apocalyptic Shadow will bring a new combat strategy and richer gameplay experience to Trailblazers. Holy, mind your team setup in combat strategy, defeat formidable foes, and earn high scores and obtain your rewards. Obtain up to 720 Stellar Jades in each phase in Apocalyptic Shadow. Okay, so a third in-game mode. How are they, again, are they pump faking us on the Jades? Are we getting more within the month or the same in the month? Are they going to fuck with the schedule on that? Oh, I see it says schedule rotation. Hold on, before we even move on. Holy shit, guys. This is really a Genshin Cadaver moment. This is massive. The focal point of content creation for a lot of content creators is the memory of chaos. And, uh, you know, we take that as a catalyst for a number of our analysis on characters, whether you should pull or skip them. They're trying uh, their power creep in the memory of chaos. They're actually putting a new in-game mode in. How is it going to fare against the current in-game modes. 
This is exciting. This is really exciting news. What is it going to be like? I know. I mean, I'll be honest. The memory of chaos, as much as I love it, it's the same thing as the Spiral Abyss and Genshin Impact. Eventually, you get, you do it, and then you're like, all right, man, all right, I'm trying to move on, you know? So they're finally adding something else in for us to do. Pure Fiction, yeah, let's be honest, one word comes to mind with Pure Fiction. Meh. Meh. You know? So what is Apocalyptic Shadow going to offer? I'm excited. I don't know. I will tell you this. I'm excited for more in-game and, and just more content, you know, to, be, to keep it simple. I'm, I'm excited for more in-game and content, but that's massive. Let's look at this schedule rotation. With the addition of the new Apocalyptic Shadow game mode, the regular game modes will also be undergoing schedule. Oh, here, here's the pump fake. All right, so what, what, what's it looking like? What's it looking like? Let's take a look at this. But we have week one to week two, the, and it's by itself, Apocalyptic Shadow one. Okay, so they, I guess it's doing the same dynamic as uh, first six weeks, you got one part of it, and then they switch it up after six weeks. But look, this is interesting. Pure Fiction and Memory of Chaos will not be present on weeks one and two. Hmm. But the next, but ah, now we got a, a, we're back to a two cycle, a two week schedule. We got two weeks of Apocalyptic Shadow, and then it continues to be able to be, uh, you know, done if you want to. We got Pure Fiction rolling in on week three and four, and then we have Memory of Chaos rolling in on week five and six. I'm crazy, but I feel like Memory of Chaos should be week three and four, and Pure Fiction should be five and six, right? Why would you Why would you put Pure Fiction in there before Memory of Chaos? I don't know. That's interesting. Either way, though, so now Apocalyptic Shadow. Apocalyptic Shadow is there from week one to week twelve. They're prioritizing it over Memory of Chaos. Oh, shit, it's getting more PT. I mean, that's cool, right? Because it's the newer mode, which means you're going to be like more excited and it's going to have more replayability. But that is fascinating. Holy, I, I will tell you, two weeks here, two weeks here, two weeks here definitely is more sustainable enjoyment. Damn, that's big. Unless I'm unless I'm not reading this correctly. I know I am, though. It's, it's right there. It's like right in front of your face. Week one and two, Apocalypse Shadow. Week three and four, Pier one and Fiction. Week five and six, Memory of Chaos. And then obviously they continue on. That's the length of the uh, of the whole thing. And then coming in, we got Apocalyptic Shadow 2 for week 7 through 12. And then Pier Fiction 2, week 9 through 10. And then uh, so on and so forth, of course. And then Memory of Chaos for the finals, week 11 through 12, going into another four weeks after that. Because all of them last six weeks once they once they drop. That's crazy. This is a nuclear fucking update, guys. Holy. Two weeks after Apocalyptic Shadow is updated, a new Pier Fiction phase will commence. And then after, yeah. Okay, so I read that right. Each regular game mode period will continue to last for six weeks damn that's plenty of time but the, so people were complaining about like the month the current month dynamic between pure fiction and uh um memory of chaos well now you have a two-week dynamic with a new game mode i mean guys i don't know what to tell you i'm excited about this stuff it sounds like it's nothing but a w unless the mode is just not all that but i mean i ain't gonna lie uh the hawkeye star rail development department be cooking bro uh, so let's see this. The crew will make certain optimizations to the team setup system. Okay. Apocalypse of Shadow, Pure Fiction, Forgotten Hall. Trailblazers can set up their teams in advance. Playing the above game modes, the system will allow them to quickly bring up their preset teams and enter the game directly. Sounds like QOL. Additionally, a new function will allow Trailblazers to drag and drop characters already selected for Node 1 and Node 2 to quickly adjust the character's team position and overall team setup. Again, it's QOL for just organizing, getting your team set up. I, it sounds good. I, 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 it's one of those I need to see, though. Consult your friends' ideas behind their team lineup. After version 2.2, Trailblazers can also view the team setup their friends use to clear Pier Fiction Forgotten Hall. That's so cool, man. And honestly, something I didn't even consider. Yeah, it would be nice to see what everybody else is doing to clear uh, their modes. And, and that's that's a good reference point. Yeah, definitely. That's a good point of reference for all casuals and uh, like newer players who just they're not informed as well on the game. So they can now look and see what other people are doing to maybe help them. Maybe they have those characters on their account. Dude, W. In future updates, Trailblazers will be able to view key stats, relics and light cones, the characters and their friends teams were using. Oh, my God. They went even more into it. So you can just look at everything somebody has. This is content. This is content, bro. 
holy shit, they're doing this is W's. This is content for content creators. Head ass. Now you can go and look and see what people are doing and how what investment they had to clear. Are they going to put the cycles in there too? Because cycles is everything, bro. You got to put the cycles up in there. We hope that the apocalyptic shadow, pure fiction, and forgotten hall memory of chaos will bring trailblazers with different strategic experience. We also welcome trailblazers to share their own thoughts and suggestions with the crew at any time. What a massive fucking nuclear update. Holy shit. I look forward to it. I got three words to end this video off with. And they are. Genshin could never.